how we put a horse into the hackamore. Now, there's many people way more experienced than I am with a hackamore, and there's lots and lots of uh, YouTube videos on all of this. However, this is my channel, this is my deal, this is what I do. This horse has never had a hackamore on before. I did promise you I was gonna show you warts and all. Just make sure your hackamore is legal. It must be a raw hide hackamore with no steel cable through here. So it must be a flexible hackamore. They can come in lots of different sizes as well, depending on the training of your horse. For now, this one I like, and we're just gonna use it because that's all I've got at the moment anyway. This is called a McCarthy, made out of horse hair. Bit prickly, again, it makes the horse a bit more sensitive to the rain. And it's gotta be tied correctly. And there's been umpteen videos on how to do that. I could show you, but for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna put it on. And why do we use a hackamore? Question. Because in a Californian tradition, the horse loses caps at around three and four. They then put the horse, take the snaffle out, his mouth's changing through those years, and they ride off the hackamore to get out of his mouth. That's kind of the reason behind it. There's probably a whole lot more than that, but. Now my McCarty is way, way too long, as you can see. However, you'll see when I get on, I'll hold it up so it's not so, so long. This is your lead rein. When you lead a hackamore horse, this comes out from the front of the hackamore, the reins come out from the back, from behind. Okay, the reins come out from the back, the lead rein comes from the front. Now this is the one that you will tie up to your strings on your saddle. So, you have it here, tie that up here, and it's a lead rein. Don't have it too long that they can get their foot caught in it or too short that it's gonna block them. Okay, so we'll get on and mount and you'll see the warts and all version. And again, I should have led him with the My inside rein is a bit shorter for my safety. With the mounting, again, make sure your horse stands still until you give him the aid. You might want to move off and he'll move off, but unless you've told him with your legs to go forward, don't let him move. This horse is waiting until I ask him to move. Like a snake. 
high. Little bump. Little bump. Little bump. Okay. Then the other way. Bump. He doesn't know yet. Bump. 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 And release. You can't just put these things on and expect the horse. Totally different feel to the horse. Little bump. He responded well then. Little bump. Put your hand back in position. Little bump. Okay, now you can change direction. Hand out wide. Little bump. Now I'm going to try stopping. He's going to feel a different feel altogether in a minute. Okay, because he's done a lot of that stop, back up stuff in the snapple, he thinks he knows the job. Now he's resisting, you can see he doesn't want to come this way. So this is what I want to show you. This is just me bumping until he understands that he's got to go the way the bump goes. When he drops his nose, I'm opening my fingers. That was nice. Now I'm going to ask him to back. Try not to get him to bump in the head up there like I thought he might do. So bump, bump, bump. 